Welcome to Indian Movies Recap. Today we are going to see a 2019 Kannada suspense thriller movie named Kavludari. Before the movie starts, there are graphics showing a car holding dead bodies. The bodies are buried, and the car is burnt. The driver is shown holding a pot full of jewels. The story revolves around Sham, who is a sincere traffic cop, whose real interest lies in handling crime-related cases. He wanted to join the crime branch, but his requests were rejected by higher officials. One day, he accidentally comes across the skeletal remains of a three-member family, and he decides to pursue his interest despite warning from his senior officer. However, his plans hit roadblock when he gets to know that the remains are four decades old. Forensic reports show that there are signs of struggle on the bodies, so it most likely was a murder. His encounter with Kumar, a small-time journalist who is equally interested in the case, helps him unfold many mysteries. Sham goes through all the 40 years old cold case files and he finds out that the dead family's head is Suresh, the boss of an archaeology department. He worked with Sampath to uncover jewels from the Vijaya Nagra Empire. It was the same day in which Sampath was mysteriously killed. On the same day, Suresh was seen wearing a blood-stained shirt by his servants in the home, so Sham realized that Suresh killed Sampath. But still he was confused about the fact that if Suresh killed Sampath and fled away with his family, then who would have killed Suresh and his family? Sham decided to meet Muthanna who handled this case before 40 years and had requested for reopening of the case since he had a breakthrough. At first Muthanna refused to help Sham but then he changed his mind. Meanwhile Kumar tells Sham that actress Madhuri is related to the case so Sham goes to ask her questions. But, it proves unsuccessful. Sham returns home but is shocked to find that actress Madhuri was killed on the day he met her. Muthana decides to help Sham by giving him information from what he investigated. He reveals that Suresh actually didn't kill Sampath and that the blood on Suresh's shirt was from a wounded person whom Suresh had saved after an accident. The question, who killed Sampath, and how the family died still remains a mystery. When Muthanna and Sham went to investigate her house, they see a picture of Madhuri wearing a necklace from the Vijendra Empire excavation. Then, they see a goon who breaks into the house. Sham and Muthanna chase after him in their old car. When they follow the goon, it leads them to a resort. In a park near the resort, Muthanna recognizes a place where the car was originally burnt. Inside the resort, a political leader is giving a speech, and Sham gets a call from Kumar to meet him. Kumar tells him that before Madhuri was an actress, she used to be a dancer who danced for criminals. One person had a deep connection with Madhuri. He was Melu Srinivas Rao, the upcoming chief minister of Karnataka. Meanwhile, Muthanna discovers that the resort belongs to Melur. Sham goes to inspect Melur's old home to find more evidence. He finds holy Christian objects hidden in a high shelf. This confuses Sham because Melur is a Hindu. He tells Muthanna, who goes to Melur's campaign. He notices that Melur looks like Fernandez, Suresh's old driver. In front of the crowd, he shouts Fernandez to which Melu looks awkwardly at Muthanna. He gets scared and tells his goons to abduct him. Muthanna tells Sham everything, and then he is taken. Melu explains to Muthanna that he found out that Suresh was holding a treasure worth 80 lakhs in his department, so he kills Sampath. And, just to make sure he gets away with the money, he plans to kill Suresh too. He tells Bablu about his plan, but he doesn't tell him about Sampath. Bablu who was a cook in Suresh's house was loved by everyone, he had a great attachment with Suresh's daughter. He wanted to become rich and successful. Fernandez who notices this adds him in his plan. He tells Bablu to put sleeping pills in the family's food so they can make a run. 
But what Bablu doesn't know that the pills are poisoned. The whole family dies, and Bablu regrets for his action and filled with guilt, he threatens to tell the police about what Fernandez did. However, the bag containing the pills had Bablu's fingerprints, so he would also get in trouble. Fernandez takes their dead bodies in his car, buries them, and burns the car. He takes the jewelry and becomes rich. To make sure no one got suspicious, he changed his identity into Melur Srinivas Rao. After that, Melur has his goons kill Muthanna. Sham arrives and is too late to save Muthanna, who soon dies. Before he dies, Muthanna tells Sham what Melur did. He gets mad and kills Melur's goons. He eventually finds out that Kumar is actually Bablu. He goes to inquire this to Kumar, but Kumar's daughter arrives, forcing Sham to leave. After this, he goes to Melur to threaten him, but he actually goes there to work for Melur. Melur tells him to kill Kumar. On a car ride, he stops his car and shoots Kumar, but not before recording him telling everything about Melur and Madhuri. Kumar reveals that when he went to interview Madhuri, but accidentally she fell down and died. After killing Kumar, Sham goes to Melur's swearing ceremony and tells him that he killed Kumar. But, it turns out that Sham lied and that he didn't kill Kumar. Kumar disguises himself and serves Melur milk. However, the milk is poisoned and Melur dies on the spot. When Sham and Kumar drive in the car, Kumar reveals that he drank the remaining poison because he felt guilty. The recording Kumar made becomes viral and everyone learns about Melur and his past sins. Because of his work on this case, Sham gets promoted to a police officer in the crime branch. It is revealed that the man who Suresh saved all those years ago was actually Sham's dad which made him take interest in this case.